and welcome back to the Cowgirl Museum Craft Corral. So today we're being inspired by Cowgirl honoree Laura Ingalls Wilder. Now Laura was born in a log cabin in Wisconsin and when she was very young her parents loaded up in a covered wagon along with her sisters to move to Kansas to build a log cabin and start a new life there. Now Whenever she was older, she took those experiences and wrote a very popular book series called The Little House Series. You may have heard some of those books and our other YouTube series called Cowgirl Museum Storytime. If you would like to hear uh, little excerpts of those stories, feel free to go watch those videos. We'll have them linked below. So today we're going to be inspired to make a very classic pioneer craft and then something with a bit of a twist. So a absolute classic is a pioneer yarn doll, which we will be making. And then while we don't need to build a log cabin of our own, we can make a log cabin for other travelers, AKA our feathered friends by making log cabin bird houses. To get started with our yarn doll, all you're going to need is some yarn. You'll also need something to wind your yarn around. Now I'm using a book here, but you could easily use a cardboard box, piece of cardboard, whatever you have lying around. And I have some fabric scissors here, but you can just use any kitchen cupboard scissors. Now to get started, you just want to start wrapping your yarn around your object. Now, if you want your doll to be a little bit smaller, you can wrap this way. If you want it to be a bit bigger, you can go vertical. I'm gonna go horizontally and start wrapping the yarn around my book. Hold it like that and start wrapping. Now, You'll want to wrap this as many times as you want to make how many strands your yarn doll is actually made of. You can go just a couple of times if you want a really thin doll. You could go a hundred times. It's really up to you and what you want your yarn doll to look like. So as you can see, it's been wrapping around. I'm going to keep wrapping about 30 times and then we'll be back. So I've finished wrapping my yarn around my book. And now I'm just going to cut the yarn off of the yarn ball. And now to get our yarn off of our book, we are going to make one cut. Now we're not going to cut both sides, we're just gonna do one cut. Careful if you're using a book not to cut the book. And the book is done, we can set it aside. And now we have a bunch of evenly sized strands of yarn. If one falls out, it's all right. Just throw them back in the mix. Now what we're going to need now is a little piece of yarn to wrap around the middle. Try to find the middle the best you can. Flip it over if you need to and make a double knot. But this is actually going to be the crown of our yarn doll's head, believe it or not. You have to make it super tight, but just enough. You're going to fold it inward. And this is going to actually be, believe it or not, our yarn doll. To start making the parts of our doll, we're going to make the head first. Now just make a little loop with an extra piece of string. And you'll want to tie it towards the back. Again, I like doing a double knot. I just find it's a little bit tighter. All right, now we need to turn our doll into a person. So it's going to need some arms and if you wanna make uh, some pants or a dress. So take your doll and make three sections. One up top 
for the arms and one for the body. Now you can easily just tie little arms right here and not worry about the braiding, but I like how the braiding looks. So if you need a reminder on how to braid or if you don't know how, that's absolutely fine. You need three sections here. So on the arm section, you'll need three pieces. I like to have two or three per strand. Then I'm gonna go over to replace the middle section. That middle section went under. Then I'm gonna go over again and make a new middle section with the left hand side. So over, under, over, and over, and over. Just to make a nice little pattern with the arm. It is totally up to you how you want. You could just do a simple twist if you'd like, make a big puffy sleeve for a very fancy dress, whatever you would like. Now when I'm done, I'm going to little pinch off a little bit of extra yarn, keep the yarn handy, and I'm going to tie off for a hand. Nice and easy. Now, do whatever you want here. I feel like this hand is a little big, so I'm just gonna cut it down. Okay, there's one arm, done. I'm going to do the other side and then show you how to make the skirt or pants. For our last step, you'll need one more small piece of yarn, and this is where we're gonna define the yarn doll's torso and how long you want your yarn dog's, doll's legs to be. So that looks about right to me. I'm just gonna tie it in a double knot again in the back. Now this is where you can have some fun and creativity. If you want your little rag doll, cowgirl, sorry, yarn doll, if you want your yarn doll cowgirl to be wearing some jeans, you could split it right down the middle and braid or just tie a little knot right here for some pantaloons. Or you can leave it as a nice fluffy skirt for your pioneer girl. Since I already have a pioneer girl here, I'm going to make some pants. Sounds fun to me. And instead of braided pants, which I feel like would look pretty tight, I'm gonna make some wide leg trousers. Just make a little knot here. So, so my cowgirl can get on her horse, do any chores she needs to get done around the ranch. Now if you make a tie that's a little bit too small, that's okay. You can go in the scraps and try again. Went a little too small there. There we go. And now I have my two little yarn dolls that are ready to play and have fun. And I hope you enjoyed. And let's move on to the next craft. Our next craft is the log cabin birdhouse. Now you will need a water bottle or a milk carton jug, whatever you have available. You could use a paper, heavy cream, a little box, whatever is available to you. And then with an adult's help or preferably an adult doing it for you, you will need either a, a pair of sharp, sharper scissors or a pocket knife to cut out the hole let the birds in. You will need some popsicle sticks, some paint, you could use acrylic paint, I have wash, uh, whatever you have available. You could even use duct tape, sharpies, whatever you have. I also have some construction paper for the roof and then optionally I have a little thing of cotton to add some smoke coming out through our chimney. Now to attach all of this, I'm using hot glue, but you could use tape or sticky craft glue, whatever you have available. Okay, let's get started. What I've done is I've taken the label off my water bottles. I've kind of 
rubbed any of the sticky part off. And then I've gone in with a knife because my water bottle is a little bit thicker and carefully cut out a window so our birds can come in and get seed. Now at home, please have adult supervision and please have an adult actually cut out the hole for you if you're using a thinner plastic or a piece of uh, papery type of container carton, still make sure that you are doing this safely. Now I've gone ahead and started to paint my water bottle brown. Now you absolutely do not have to paint your log cabin brown. I'm just doing this so it looks most like a log cabin, but if you want your log cabin to be bright pink, bright blue, a neon green, feel free. It's absolutely your log cabin and historical accuracy, it doesn't necessarily matter. We're making a birdhouse, but when it dries, it's going to look something like this. Now I've used gouache here, which is a opaque form of watercolor paint because it's the brown that I had available to me. But if you use acrylic or something like that, it's going to be a little less matte and a little less chalky. You could also use chalk paint. You could use anything like that that you have available. Once your water bottle is dry, we're going to move on to the next step, which is putting on our popsicle sticks. As you can see on our finished birdhouse, that I have my popsicle sticks looking like this. That's because log cabins were built where uh, one log would intersect with another log up and up and create a sort of crisscross uh, for structural stability. I'm trying to mimic that in our birdhouse. So when you start putting on your popsicle sticks, I've cut my popsicle sticks down to the right side for each side of my water bottle. You wanna leave enough space so that the popsicle stick coming out from the back can actually peek through. Make sense? You can have your popsicle sticks going in opposite order. Make sure that they're spaced out correctly. You can go in with a popsicle stick and make sure that you've spaced everything out properly. That seems about right to me. I am using hot glue, but you do not have to use hot glue. You can use super glue. You can use a really sticky craft glue. I just find that hot glue dries the fastest. If you are using hot glue, again, please have adult supervision and be careful not to burn yourself. Oops. So I'm just going one side at a time, but you could uh, go around in a circle around the water bottle and then go down. It is really up to you and how you wanna construct your log cabin. Now, of course, we are constructing our log cabin pretty easily, I would say. Just some hot glue and a little bit of popsicle sticks. But pioneers would have to chop down the wood and lay all of the uh, logs down themselves. It's actually something that I even have a hard time thinking about, building a house completely from scratch. And this is my last one on this side. All right, now I'm just gonna go all the way around my water bottle with popsicle sticks, and then I'll show you how to add the final details. Finished hot gluing all of my logs to my birdhouse. And then I went ahead, I punctured a hole right at the top here with my knife and fed through a piece of string so we can tie it up outside. If you don't want to tie and just want to put this maybe on uh, sitting out on a table or something like that, that's absolutely up to you. And then I like to give a little perch for my birds. So I just put three little popsicle sticks here and attach them with hot glue to the base of that popsicle stick we put down earlier. Now the last thing we need for our house is a roof. 
So what I've done is I've just cut down two pieces of, this is a little bit thicker cardstock type of uh, construction paper. And I'm going to hot glue down a roof for our birdhouse. stick that on and because of the way my water bottle is shaped it's going to come out like an angle like a little roof do one on this side if you want to go all the way around with your roof give a little variety of colors if you want to paint your popsicle sticks this is totally your craft do whatever you would like and there we have it, our log cabin birdhouse. Well, here are our finished little house on the prairie crafts. Now I've added a little bit of smoke coming out of my chimney with a bit of a wadded up cotton round. Now you can use whatever you like or skip it entirely. Because again, these are my finished crafts, but yours can be completely different and I would love to see them. So please share with us on social media your finished crafts by using at Cowgirl Museum on social media. And I hope to see you all again soon for another craft corral.